Hi guys, welcome to Gizbot channel and today we have got our hands on the recently launched smartphone from Micromax. So this is the Micromax Evoke Power. This is a budget smartphone from Micromax. Today we'll be just talking about uh, how this device is. Basically we'll be giving our first impressions on this device. thing we'll be talking about is the design of the smartphone and it's good to see that uh, local our local manufacturers are stepping up their game and Micromax has done a good job in designing this smartphone so as you can see at the back uh, the, this smartphone comes with a metal body and this back is also removable so you can remove the back and check uh, the battery inside and I believe that uh, the SIM card and the memory card tray are inside this back cover and at the sides and on the top and bottom you can see there's a rubber texture kind of layering so this is good from Micromax in terms of design aspect because uh, this will help prevent uh, your phone from taking damage if it falls from your hand or any other accidents uh, apart from that the phone looks uh, premium and elegant compared to the previous Macromax smartphones so at the sides you have the power button and there's the volume rockers so these buttons feel tactile at the back uh, you have the fingerprint scanner, the camera, the LED flash, the Micromax logo branding and on the top you can see there's uh, the standard micro USB port and a 3.5 mm audio headphone jack and uh, at the back you can also see the speaker grill yeah and there's a sensor and there's the front camera and at the front you can also notice that uh, there are no capacitive keys you'll have the on-screen keys coming to the user interface it looks decent coming to the display so Micromax Evoque Power has a 5.5 inch full HD display and the viewing angles are pretty decent but the display is very colorful vibrant and bright the only drawback of this display is that uh, you can see the black borders at the sides and it tends to lower your viewing experience i mean it doesn't give you that full viewing experience and the display also comes with a 2.5d corning gorilla glass which adds an extra layer of protection for your smartphone so now let's get down to what this smartphone brings under the hood so for that we'll go to the settings and we'll dive down to the about section of this phone and yep you have the details here so firstly the processor so this smartphone is powered by a 1.25 gigahertz quad core processor and i believe micromax is using a mediatek chipset with this smartphone talking about the ram uh, this smartphone gets 2 gb ram and the internal storage uh, it has got 16 gb of internal storage and it is expandable so there's a micro sd card slot inside this smartphone you can see the android version as well so this smartphone is running on the android marshmallow os coming to the camera of the smartphone uh, so this smartphone features an 8 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel front camera so let's open the camera app and as you can see you can see the layout of the camera app uh, it's nothing fancy and uh, it looks simple and let's just take a sample shot of this bottle so the camera looks decent and seems to do a decent job and uh, 
the details tend to get blurred when you zoom in let's check out the front camera as well so let's just take a sample shot and let's check out how the picture has come so as you can see the image is not that clear and crisp and uh, to give a verdict I must say that it does a decent job and Micromax has also provided the gesture control mode so basically what that does is it tends to track the gesture when you're clicking a picture so all in all the camera as far as the cameras go uh, this smartphone does a decent job I mean for the price range that this smartphone is being offered uh, I must tell you this smartphone is being offered at price of 7000 so we can't expect uh, a great camera uh, in such a budget smartphone the highlight of this smartphone Micromax Evoque Power is its battery so this smartphone comes with a 4000mAh battery today we know many phones they do offer a lot of features but they lack in the battery department I mean the battery life is not efficient but what Micromax has done is they're providing a larger battery so the battery should deliver full day backup that is with extensive usage and if you're a light user so then this battery should give you around two days of uh, standby time so yeah, this is pretty much about micromax evoke power do let us know what you think about this smartphone in the comments below you can always subscribe to our channel like the video if you enjoyed it uh, we'll be coming back again with few more videos in the future so hope you guys have a good day today and this is Sam signing off for the day.